Hey, this is Jonesy with Custom Kids Cars. We're at the old speed shop today, and I believe this is part six of the 4x4 heavy duty Dodge work truck slash V plow. Um, it's Christmas Day. We've been just having fun, but I did get a little bit of work done. Uh, it's dark out right now. We've got about three, four inches of snow out there, so we threw in some headlights, some eagle eyes, real quick. We did some festive bow action on the grill there. And we also installed the strobe controller in the dash. This is a stock location where the battery indicator LEDs were. You pushed a little button and it lit up green, yellow, red, you know, if it was dying. Um, so that's in the dash now. And we've also added the headlight uh, rocker switches here. And this one's not done yet. This one's going to be for the cab light, running lights. And we're going to do some amber LEDs in the uh, headlight buckets. And I think that's going to be it for lighting on this. We're trying to keep this as realistic as possible. We're not going to do underglows or anything crazy like that. Um, but the strobe lights turned out pretty bitchin'. So um, we did use the stock key location. And the wiring under here is not finished up. It's going to be all zip tied and all that. But it's um, <clears throat> stock key there we used. So that gives power to the plow up now. It's just a big toggle switch there. Double pull, double throw. And here's the controller. You can disable it. Um, and it's got three different options. A Kind of like that one. We'll get panned back here. So we've got some LEDs in the mirrors. We've got a headache rack we welded up. And we took the stock wimpy little 5 volts and we added Osmium Superflux LEDs to each one of those. Um, and those are those Harbor Freights we talked about in some of the earlier ones. So we've got running lights. We've got working brake lights. Might as well, when you push the brake, brake pedal, oh, lost the camera there. Well, you press, press this brake pedal in here and uh, brakes come on. Oh, and one more thing we're going to add. We do, because this is an electrical portion, uh, when you put it in reverse, it's got a backup beeper. We're actually going to add backup lights too. So, um, like I said, very scale realistic. That's what we focus on here at CKC. So, strobe controller two. That one's pretty cool too. I don't know the technical terms for these patterns. That one's pretty cool. Goes back and forth. And then of course we've got option C which that's basically all of them just blink on on off uh, i think my favorite for the whole plowing action is the strobe effect i think that looks pretty realistic if i think about a plow truck i think that's usually what we see something like that um so that's the leds um i think we've talked about it briefly we've got the charge port here we actually took a power wheels brand gas cap and put the charge port in there. Uh, we're going to do a little decals. So it will say diesel only. Um, tires. Okay. We updated uh, this build on our YouTube channel with episode 5 about a week ago. It went bananas. Uh, last time I looked, we were at like 55,000 views. Phenomenal. It's breaking records for us. Um, and unfortunately, I can't say that it's awesome news because... Bunch of hate. Bunch of hate about why does it have plastic tires? What a waste. What, you know, waste of money, blah, blah, blah. I should have bought this. I should have done that. Guys, we've done rubber tires. It just adds a ton of rotating mass without changing gearboxes. We're, we're running stock number seven 13 tooth gearboxes. We wanted to keep this basic. This is something that every Joe Mo can go out and they can copy us because a lot of people do so we kept 
stock plastic tires that would mate to plastic gearboxes on purpose. Lightweight, easily replaceable, economical. Um, we're already, you know, over two grand on this build, so going with rubber tires and metal gearboxes or live axle with disc brakes, uh, it's just going to... We'd love to do it. We would love for a customer to call us up and say, hey, we want one of those, but we want rubber tires. Guys, we're building custom stuff here. It's going to be pricey. I, I can't do the stuff for free, but we'll get into that. So we are still waiting on our 100-foot order of chain from McMaster Car. Uh, and believe it or not, it eats up a lot of chain. The fronts work great. Um, we... We, we had issues with the back not having traction. Obviously, it's plastic tires. I knew that. Waiting for the chain. Can't do that. You know, Santa Claus can't come into town. Slow the orders down. So we had about six foot left, and we just did two loops. Hopefully, that helps tonight. But we're going to do the same thing to the back as we did to the front. And we are also almost for sure going to upgrade the batteries. Um, again, this is four-wheel drive with... Vex Pro 775 size motors. It just sucks these 18 amp hour batteries down to just probably like 15 minutes. Um, he's in low voltage cutoff. So more than likely we're going to put a 26 amp hour battery up in here and another one in the back where the two 18 are, amp hour batteries are. Um, 26 amp hours is, is way more run time. It's going to add some you know more needed weight so uh, we got to get those ordered, um, but right now this is this is all testing. This is a prototype. There's no like blueprints. There's no instructables. There's no YouTube how tos on building a custom lifted four x four V plow power wheels. We're it. We're starting this. Um, so we're working out some kinks. Uh, again, we're drawing a lot of amperage through these four motors so our 40 amp breaker it has a tendency to trip and we were using um, the stock one that came with the East Coast Power Ups kit um, I'm not knocking it I don't know if it's the problem but you know it's it's a, a Taiwanese 40 amp breaker it started popping on us and then what I've noticed is when these trip they have a tendency to nuisance trip so they get a little bit weaker so what we just threw in, and I don't know if we've even done a running test with it yet, but we added a marine grade 40 amp resettable breaker. When the amp draw gets over 40 amps instead of melting wire, this little button here pops out, boing, and you just reset it, just like a house circuit breaker. Um, it's an overload protection device, very important. Anybody that's not running it, never, anybody that's running car batteries, <laughs> I won't even get into that, but we're going to see what this uh, high quality marine grade one does and headlights, I think we talked about those, we got some uh, eagle eyes in there, I love those kind of blue actinic look. So that's pretty much it for episode six is the electronics. Um, a couple things that we still need to do is install the air horn which I'm kind of nervous about because it's freaking loud. Probably have to pack it with some uh, rags with tape over it to tone it down a little bit because it's freaking ridiculous. Um, we are going to black out the mirror, black out the grill, and we are going to rhino line the front bumper. We're going to cut out the recesses so that we don't have these fake plastic looking voids. We're actually going to cut those out. We are going to probably hydro dip the side steps and the wheels we just got a really cool print in from big brain hydrographics um, so we're probably going to do a speed shake sample and maybe one wheel and see if we like it if it fits this it might be a little bit too custom for a work truck but uh it's a demon pattern it's black based ink um it's it looks cool um i just had to have it as soon as i saw that print um, think, did I talk about the headache rack? Don't look at my crappy TIG welding. Um, <laughs> that's, believe it or not, a step bumper that my son crashed into and bent up. So I cut up the, uh, the C-channel for it and um, TIG welded it up. And, man, I'm still working on it, man. <laughs> I 
haven't been to school for it, teaching myself. And then I realized I was out of Argonne. That didn't help matters. So, um, so that's going to have to be ground down. I'll re um, take it, hopefully lay some dimes, and then we're going to paint that in matte black. But this truck is just turning out bananas. I'm super proud of it. Um, everything's working out pretty good. I mean, we had a couple little snags, which they happen. Um, so the next thing to do, once we get all the electronics done, everything works good. Uh, we'll start laying out decals, take the, the body back off, um, sand down the frame, and paint that in matte black. Um, and then start installing the final assembly. That's kind of how we roll here is uh, make sure it all works and then do the final assembly once it's all pretty with all the fresh painted stuff. But anyways, guys, um, I really appreciate everybody giving me the positive thumbs up comments and the, the positive feedback. All the haters out there, guys, go somewhere else. Go and be trolls on somebody else's YouTube channel or just don't even get on YouTube if you need somebody to talk to, call your mom. But all you guys using profanity and knocking us and ripping us for like playing with kids' toys, dude, go somewhere else. I, I don't want to deal with it or I'm just going to turn off comments. I know that there's just trolls out there and I put myself on social media, but um, let's just keep this for the kids, man, and just have fun with this stuff. It's just so cool. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't know if you're jealous you had a bad childhood or whatever, but don't hate on us because we're doing something fun for kids. We do this for a business. We build custom power wheels. We've had TV producers that are negotiating with the network TV stations about having a reality show. Um, we've been contacted by another super high-end builder. He's basically the LeBron James of power wheels and he wants to do a build off. Um, maybe some of you guys can figure out who it is. But I'm um, super honored that he even contacted us this week, and it just, um, it was a highlight. Once he saw this build, he said, man, we got to do a build-off. So um, we got the wheels turning in our head. We're going to have some awesome stuff coming up for 2018. And, man, if we hear back from uh, the TV producers that they're going to do a pilot episode, pfft, um, you're going to see a lot more of this shop. I mean, we, you know, a private person, we don't really talk about too much of this stuff, but... Um, the things we do in here are pretty incredible, and the people that see it in person, they are, they're impressed. But some of you guys are haters, and that's just, I got to get used to it. So, anyways, please give me a thumbs up, give us a positive comment, subscribe, and share the heck out of this video. Um, without further ado, we're going to throw some GoPros on it and do some plowing. Pop the breaker. All right, that's that whole breaker popping thing. It's just drawing too many amps, so we're gonna have to go up, back up. Ah, uh, those batteries are in low voltage. Huh, um, can't give just a little bit of gas. Just, it's just the controller doesn't wanna go, does it? Here, I'll help you. This is what's going on. Like I said, there's always hiccups. Um, most of the amp power or 18 amp hour Gruber batteries that are, uh, I think, four years old. Um, what it's showing is 25.3 volts. But then when we hit the gas pedal, it's still showing the same volts. But I think that it's putting the controller into a low voltage cutoff. Now, if we ease on it, It's no problem. So I'm going to give Wesley a message here because when he goes to hammer down, we're, we're getting nothing. So ease on it. Bring in some snow. So we had to cut that uh, test short. Um, we did not charge this. I don't know why we forgot. 
but I mean it's still showing 25 volts but just because it has volts doesn't mean that it can put out the amp so uh, gosh I'm fresh out of 18 amp hours but we need to probably order some 18s and 26s and um, go from there if it's just the junk batteries I'm just gonna swap them out because they're still big batteries but um, I think it'd be nice to have the longer run because this thing is truly functional so since we can't finish plowing what are we gonna do crazy cart racing we dun, are dun, dun, dun. going we have the um, you know the Christmas rush is over this is a little bonus extra oh. scene this is the shop we actually have it set up as a race course right now race and we have a flipping ball out here so um, like I said this is the bonus scene we're charging these up again because we wore these things out if you guys haven't checked out these Razor Crazy Carts they're freaking so awesome um, that's the XL that's dad's ride right there uh, we're gonna pip it all out it's gonna be custom and we've got a couple over there that we're doing going to do some crazy stuff too to make them super fast um, so look for some fun uh, adult child hardcore racing action going on but um, yeah that's what we got going on with project HD there's always something that goes wrong man always so we'll figure it out I have a feeling that it's those heavy amp draws I'm going to confirm it with Wesley at East Coast Power Ups and we'll be back at you with another update with paint body and the finished electric. Alright guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>